this is Courtney DeWalter. Even among the top ultra trail runners, she is unique. In races, she often leaves a large part of the men's field behind her, and sometimes all of the men. Courtney competed in high school in Nordic skiing, track, and cross country running. She soaked up knowledge from her coaches, immensely in tune with her body. She now coaches herself and prefers to train by feel. In 2023, Courtney won three of the most iconic 100 mile races within less than three months, a first. In late June, she broke the course record at the Western States 100 mile race. In July, she broke the Hard Rock 100 course record. And at the beginning of September, she won the UTMB Chamonix race. Courtney is known for being one of the nicest runners in a sport already known for its approachable athletes. She also stands out with her love for nachos, beer, and loose shorts. Courtney's achievements over very long distances would indicate superior grit and running economy. Today, we will look at her running form and will compare it to that of the world record holder over 10k and a half marathon, Letzenbet Gide. Gide also recently finished second at the 2023 New York City Marathon, beaten only by seconds by Helen Obiri. Marathons, of course, are a sprint compared to ultra distance races. While the marathon world record by Tigris Asefa in Berlin corresponds to a speed of nearly 12 miles or 20 kilometers per hour, Courtney conquered the 100 kilometer course in Bandera and 6,500 feet of elevation at an average speed of 7 miles or 11 kilometers per hour. Ultra trail races are not just longer than marathons, they also feature more elevation and uneven ground. Let's see if this shows in Courtney's running form in this footage from the 2023 Hoka Bandera Trail Race. I'll leave a link to the original video in the description below. Here in this flat section, Courtney runs with a cadence of 181 steps per minute, which is surprisingly high for an ultra endurance race. A high cadence helps to minimize impact forces, but creates higher demands on a cardiovascular system. Repetitive use injuries are a real concern when putting in high mileage. Courtney's midfoot strike avoids excessive loads on her hips and knees from a pronounced heel strike or issues caused from pronounced forefoot strikes such as Achilles and calf injuries. Courtney has an efficient stride, achieving maximum shank angles of about 15 degrees and touching down with a shank angle of 2 degrees, giving her a sweep of 13 degrees. Her low shank angle at touchdown also means that she lands close to her center of mass, again helping with efficiency and injury prevention. Courtney's ground contact time here is about 0.2 seconds, which for a race of that distance is outstanding. Courtney runs at a workable 3 to 4 degrees of lean, which is slightly more upright than what we typically see in marathon lead packs. Looking at Courtney from behind, we can see that she has virtually no hip drop. This indicates a strong lumbar pelvic hip complex, which helps to avoid injuries to other muscles that would have to compensate for unstable hips. Courtney carries her arms at 72 degrees. This tight angle helps with keeping cadence high. She also controls her arms very well. Her wrist and elbow travel to and from the torso center line without going excessively beyond that line. Now, let's compare Courtney's form over a 100k ultra distance race with that of Ethiopian long distance runner Lydia Sembet Gide. Gide, as mentioned, holds the world record over 10k and a half marathon, and she is known for her beautiful running form. Given the differences in the races they are competing in, it is surprising how similar Courtney's and Lydia Sembet's form is. The main differences we can see here are a stronger lean and a greater extension of the leg moving forward, which leads to a bigger sweep for Gide. Gide also features an even tighter arm angle. Many of these differences, of course, are related to the much higher speeds and power generated during the shorter marathon, with both athletes optimizing for the demands of their race. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like an analysis of your own running form, then head over to movaya.com, check out the video guidelines, and upload a video of your running. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.